Would you look at that? We got yet another small update from Valve. Most people were hoping for something bigger, and granted, this is a little better. Firstly, we have two new Wingman maps, Boyard and Chalice. And from the very limited first impressions I got, and I mean very limited, they are both visually beautiful, and are some more unique choices for theming of maps. Boyard is actually based on a real fort that was built in the 1800s by Napoleon, used as a prison and abandoned in the 1950s, only to be bought out and restored, now being used as a filming location for a game show with the same name? What the hell am I reading? Anyways, along with these, Valve removed the previous community wingman maps, as well as Breach, which is sort of weird, as it's not being replaced by anything in this update. Before this video starts, please consider subscribing. It's free, you can unsubscribe if you want, I really appreciate it, and it would help me reach my goal of 1750 subscribers by the end of January. Thanks, back to the video. Much to Marius's dismay, the Magic Molotov bug, as he coined it, has been patched. So basically, to sum up his great video, Molotov grenades used to ignore a skybox textured surface, which stopped them from exploding, allowing for Molotovs to be thrown much farther than Valve evidently intended. Now, instead, any Molotov that comes into contact with a skybox will immediately combust, making it impossible to throw nades like this. By the way, credit to Marius. Check out his channel and the video, link in description. A new service medal will be ready to claim as soon as the new year hits, and this year, I've gotta say, the design looks clean, I like the little flames in the back. But Valve, we're missing something. Where is the Christmas chickens? Where are those piles of snowballs in the spawn? Why is the bomb not gift wrapped? Please, please, I need this, I need this, please. We also got a sticker sale. Just like always, the stickers were and most likely will still be in the game for far too long. And now they are 75% off. Although the exclusive storage units are now gone forever as they have been removed instead of having a sale like all the other items. So this end of the year update seems a little, uh, how you say, uh, dull. Yes, we got a few new maps and a service medal, but neither of those things are particularly labor intensive for Valve. 2022 has been a strange year for CSGO. The Major was largely a success, and there were a few interesting updates, but as far as brand new content goes, there really hasn't been much. Even Valve's cash cow of CSGO skins seems to have been taken to the back burner this year in a major way, as it will be by far the least amount of new skins added to the game in one year, with a record low of 34 at the time of recording. Not only this, but there hasn't been any kind of major updates this year. At all. This sounded familiar to me, but as long as we're counting Danger Zone as a major update, CSGO has literally never had a year without one. So what's going on? Well, taking a look back to 2021, Valve released Operation Riptide, which was one of the more disappointing operations that we've had in a long time, let's be honest, as it lacked several of the reasons why people even like CSGO operations, especially the special lore-revealing Guardian missions. It was obvious that it was rushed, and while still being a decently fun operation, didn't really leave a lasting impression on many people. A large part of the rush nature of this update was likely due to Valve employees working on crunch time to get the Steam Deck out and ready, as well as shipping software and firmware patches to the device, so yeah, understandable. Moving to present day however, and as I said before, we had a fun major, some maps, a couple of decent changes to rifles, and nothing else. And at this point, I honestly would probably still have a decent amount of hope that we would still get a major update a little later in the year, except for one thing. I have heard and seen absolutely nothing. Not even a thing about anything that even smells like an operation. You see, for the last couple of major updates, data miners and Valve alike have hinted and teased and leaked things that all but confirm the inevitable end of year content, but this year, nothing. Not even a whisper. No, this doesn't mean the game is dead or that Valve devs only care about money and skins, because then they would have at least pushed a couple more cases by the end of the year out. No, this is something different. This is something more. For years, there has been speculation of Valve working on some kind of overhauled Counter-Strike. The biggest thing that you'll hear thrown around is a Source 2 port. And while there have been things pointing to that, I don't think that we'll see anything like that until well after 2023 has started, so don't start a hype train. So let me know what you think of this video in the comments, consider subscribing if you enjoyed, thanks for watching, have a great night, and as always, bye.